These are the new server enhancements for FileMaker 18. Be sure to check out the description for links to all of the new feature videos and the free course at Productive Computing University for all the videos in one place. I think this is best demonstrated by looking at server 17 and server 18 side by side. The dashboards look essentially the same. Under the databases tab, you'll see there are icon changes for the database status. The backups tab looks essentially the same. On the configuration tab for general settings, we have this addition of start time, which gives the timestamp of the last time server was started. The clients and folder sections are the same, but under script schedules, we have something a little different. You'll see the one marked disabled and the current time of the server. So let's look at how that got to that status. I had a script scheduled to run at 1640 and it's set to run for two minutes before timing out, but we won't wait the entire two minutes. I'll just show you what happens at the end of the script process. You can see that the status turns to failed and then quickly goes back to disabled. So you can't see the previous status all you see is disabled you have to go to your event logs to see what happened with each of those scripts back to our comparisons the notifications section is the same the SSL part has a delete files button on this side and the logging section is essentially the same the connectors looks the same data API as well as the plugins and the ODBC. And the administration tab is also the same for licenses administrator and external authentication. There are a few other things to mention in the help file that has the additional general enhancements for server, which includes a startup restoration feature. At startup, before databases are opened for client access, FileMaker server validates database entries if databases have inconsistencies indicating they were not properly closed startup restoration uses a restoration log to restore the files to their last consistent state and they have more details there if you want to check that out next filemaker server has been updated to work with zabbix open source monitoring software this is probably going to turn into a course all by itself because it can be very complex if we just look at the documentation there's all kinds of information here that you can look through as well as just downloading to have these different options of a package download depending on your operating system the appliance version sources and agents pre-compiled for you so as complex as that is, that means there's a lot you can do with that in regards to server. And next you have this ability to change the default backup time, which is displayed on the backups page under backup schedule by using the CLI command line interface command FMS admin set backup time and see using auto backup and on demand tab, which when you go there, it gives you more information as well as the text for that, or if you're going to disable a schedule and you can also change the limit on the number of simultaneous script clients by using the CLI command FMS admin set server config script sessions and you have an additional link to learn more about that. The data API and the admin API are also too large a scope for this particular course, and we'll probably have additional ones coming in the future, but there are links for those guides if you would like to see the extensive changes to those. And those are your server enhancements, not a lot of major changes, which can be a nice change. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the description for links to other new feature videos for FileMaker 18 and the free course at Productive Computing University for all of the videos in one place, as well as other courses to enhance your skills as a FileMaker developer.